I want to talk about bank feeds, the differences between the business view and the accountant view. So there's some major differences with working with QuickBooks Online. And on the left-hand side, you're either going to see Transactions tab, which we see here, or you're going to see a Banking tab. Now, a big difference is going to be how you're going to classify and record the categorizations of your transactions that show up on the Banking tab here. So let's go ahead and do a demo here so I can demonstrate fully. And then you can kind of decide what's the best uh, version uh, for you here. So. Here I am on my demo account. I want to call your attention on the left-hand side. We've got the transactions tab populated right there. Okay. Um, so what's happening here is you will see on the on the transactions to the side, you'll see things like confirm and review. Okay, a bunch of these like that. All right, like for example, these entreport charges here, confirming, confirming. Okay, let me let me change the view up so you can see the different view under the account view. So when you click on the gear icon, you're going to see what view you're in. You're viewing QuickBooks in the business view. Okay, I'm going to click switch to accountant view. This is definitely my preferred view. I think it's easier for folks to uh, work with. Um, on the left-hand side, it now says banking. Okay. And then take a look here. We see a completely different style. We see add, 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 add. So we've got add and match. And so um, we use the term match if the record already exists inside of QuickBooks. In this case, to me, it's... I think it's a little bit more identifiable that, oh yeah, we've got a match. You know, I could click on here. I could actually open up this expense here just to take a quick look, see it's already been recorded. It hasn't been matched yet. I got my, got my uh, receipt there, but we can, you can see that there's no, nothing up here. So that just means it hasn't yet been matched. So I could click match. Now, if you were in the other version, it would be confirmed. The other view, I should say. Okay, uh, I like these ads here. I, I really do like adding to know that it didn't exist. Now it does. Okay, I'm going to click on this magnifying glass here, reopen up that one of these expenses here, and you can see. Okay, here we have the rule manually added with rule. So this has been matched up. All right, added manually. Um, awesome. Okay, so what's best for you? You're going to decide. Um, I'm heavily biased towards the the account view. The other the other benefit that I like with the account view is you can compare your balances here against your QuickBooks balance. I, I love that. I love the, that ability. And if we were to switch views here and go back to the business view, you don't see that. Okay. You don't, you can't see up here what QuickBooks balances and what the bank online balances since the last time you clicked the update here. So here's transactions here. So now notice that, um, this is a uh, very different, very different type of view here. We would see confirm, review. So in this case, confirm means that it's going to confirm what's selected here. You can always open one up here, take a look at what the detail was, and then um, you know add if this was travel. You know this is travel, and if put in the vendor and all that, any project located class, click confirm there. To me, I just I just really like the accountant view, so I'm going to uh, lean towards, if you're undecided, I'd say switch to the accountant view. It, to me, it's more logical because you've got uh, easier buttons. Adding means it's not in the books. It will be added once you do it. So if I do office supplies here for HP, add, boom. I also like that it turns green to show me what was used before. 
I just I just enjoy that right there. Um, yeah, that's all I wanted to share with you here. I know this trips up a lot of folks. Um, and so hopefully this video is helpful for you to decide whether you should have the accountant view or the business view. Thanks for watching.